Oh, the peppy Tracy Turnblad in Hairspray. Now she's here to tell us about her latest role in the Lifetime movie, Queen Size. Everyone, big round of applause for Nikki Bonsky. Yay! First off, I want to give you a congratulations, of course, on the Critics' Choice Award. Thank you very much. That was a wonderful uh, speech, of course. That was for your role in, in Hairspray. Yes. What was that like? It was incredible. I mm -hmm. couldn't believe it. I, I wasn't expecting it, but uh, it was one of the greatest moments of my life. Oh, oh and congratulations on the Golden Globe nomination Thank as well. Thank you. Now, now tell me, in the speech, I remember you thanked your mom mm -hmm. and your on-screen mom, which, of course, we yes. all know is John Travolta. So who gives you the best advice? They both give me good advice. Really? They, yeah, they're both good moms. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. I just met your mom, actually. The whole, the whole family's here. They're, they're wonderful. They're and the dog, here. of course. Oh, Rocky's name? here. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Let's talk about the new movie that you're in here on Lifetime. You play an overweight teen mm -hmm. who gets nominated for Homecoming Court. And it uh, looks like we're going to take a little clip of this and see what it's all about. I know I'm not exactly the traditional candidate for Homecoming Queen, but I think I deserve the same chance as anybody else. I'm still unclear on how you got on the ballot in the first place. I don't know. Probably some moron just trying to be clever. Mm, well, the movie <laughs> is a true story, right? It Inspired is. Inspired by and Maggie Baker is the name of your character? Yes. So did you get to re the, uh, meet the real life uh, Miss Baker? I have not met her, actually, but I'm really excited. I hope I get to because when you're playing, you know, another person, you want their approval. So hopefully after the movie airs on Saturday, she'll give me her approval. <laughs> you'll, be get, you'll be getting a phone call. You did great. You did amazing. That would be awesome. Now, as a fellow Long Islander, you're from Great Neck. I am. I'm from a little further out. Uh, now, back in high school, elementary school, were you ever teased? Absolutely. Middle school is probably one of the hardest times of my life. I was ridiculed for being overweight and short and, you know, it's called every name in the book. But my grandma always taught me that people make fun of you because they're insecure with themselves. So Exactly. I just kept plugging and I'm just happy look where you're at right now. doing what I'm doing. Now, do you have any people from the past who maybe weren't so friendly to you contact you now? As if, hey, Nikki, remember me from high school? You know, the ones who weren't so nice? Well, yeah, of course. But, you know, you just kind of deal with them and you just say, I actually kind of thank them for being mean to me because they made me a stronger person. That's they kind of built me a tougher skin. That's wonderful. Now, let's say you really were homecoming queen, right? Yeah. Who would you pick to be that homecoming king? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> any, any, any celebrity, any guy that would... Um, well, I just met George Clooney the other oh, night, oh, so... Yes. Yes, perfect. I'm going to say George Clooney has to be my homecoming yeah. thing. All right, George, if you're watching, yeah, okay, you got it. And by the way, she got the red memo. Oh, Next yes. Next time, everyone, yeah, today's Wear Red Day, just to let you know. <laughs> Nikki, I want to thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate thank it. Thank you for having me. And everyone, Queen Size premieres Saturday, January 12th, right on Lifetime. And coming up tomorrow, there may be no red carpet at the Golden Globes, but that doesn't mean there won't be winners. We've got your Golden Globe predictions. And Nikki, of course, we're keeping our fingers crossed. Yeah. For you. Thank you. Congrats again. Thank, thank, you. thank you for breaking down stereotypes and doing your thing. Oh, thank it's you. really important, especially in Hollywood, to have that kind of voice. Thank All you. right, up next on the CW11 Morning News, ever try to create that sultry eye, you know, Jill, that smoky eye? Yeah.